assalamu alaikum hey guys okay so now that the design is done let's talk about the next step which is making the pcb in real life implementing the design to a hardware form so how can we do that well there are two two methods you can just make the manufacturing files using these options which i will tell later in another video or or you can just make them yourself what really yes that's true you can make the pcbs yourself i will upload the whole video the next part of this series will be how will you be making a pcb from this design that you have made okay so let's talk about what we have to do in this software before we can go to the hardware part okay so now that the pcb design is done what we have to do is take the print of this design well we can always go to smart pdf and just we can make the pdf file uh, from this smart pdf and we can just open it up let's open up okay so there it is there's the pcb design that's great we just press on Control P or just go to print and wow this looks great there it is there's the PCB design it looks great what is this actual size shrink what well it's changing the sizes it's not gonna work my components have a fixed size and I'm sure the resistor is not that big well, there is some problem there. Of course, there is a problem. This doesn't work. This smart PDF option is a piece of... <clears throat> yeah, well, it's not good. Okay, so now let's talk about what we have to do to get accurate component sizes in real life when you print them. Okay, so after the PCB design is done, what you have to do is go to files, go to this page setup. You don't have to go to the print or the smart video. Go to pay setup. Remember that. Okay, so now there you select your page, whatever it is. It's a legal page or a letter. I'm gonna select A4 because my page is A4 size. Now, this is the option. This option makes everything wrong. So, we do not have to fit the document on page, we have to scale the print. You see, because these items here on the pcb design are drawn to scale so if you fit the document to the whole page they expand and when you print them the pcbs don't fit with the component size so we have to scale print and that's it really that was easy no that's not it we have to make this scale as well one the corrections are always going to be one one and we don't need a color printer we are always gonna go to gray and from there now you click on print remember you do not directly click on the print now you can just select the printer and print it up and again you do not select this print option well let's see let's see what happens with the fit on document page well, let's scale to one but let's see what happens okay so now I'm gonna print it up and okay okay so the print is out and it looks great liar it does tell the truth boy okay it doesn't look great not great seriously okay fine it's quite large well let's measure it there's a battery there's a resistor there's a capacitor and there's that inductor with L question mark. Oh, fine. Uh, let's measure the distance between the two terminals of the resistor. So that is about from center to center point. Well, that is about 3.3 to 4 cm. Well, there are some resistors that are that big. Liar! Tell the truth, boy! Okay, fine. The resistors are not that big. That's right, baby. So that means this is not to the scale and it's not gonna work. Okay, now let's try the other setting. Okay, so now that's out of our system. Now let's see the other option. Pipe setup 
and scaled print. Again, it's a 3.22. One, baby, one. And now we got a clock. Pin, print, and OK. OK, great. We got the new print with the new settings. OK, fine. Now it looks great. Yeah. Aren't you going to see a liar this time? Whatever. OK, fine, because I'm not lying. OK, so let's measure the distance between the resistors the center points and that is about one centimeter that is about one centimeters okay then that look more real so the components will be of the correct size when you select the correct settings okay so now that we know the print is great now we shall see what to do with this print that's a good question yeah yeah good question you need a bell for that okay now you will be moving to the next part of the video where i have done each step and i'm sure you will not have any problems just follow the instructions but you may have to do it again and again depending on the quality of your ink and the paper you print it on if it's a butter paper it's awesome if not then just deal with it and try again if it doesn't work well, there's a 90% chance it's gonna work and there's a 10% chance that you may have to do it for more than one time to get the perfect design so yeah if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much take care bye hit the subscribe will you please thank you stay tuned